Alright, thanks for joining me on Wonders with Imani. Uh, I just rolled out of the car and it's early in the morning and I'm going to hike up to Lamarck Lake. Um, there's an upper and a lower. I'm going to see which one's better and then I'll decide if I'm going to fish one or both. But for now, we're just going to hike up there. It's only about a two mile hike, I believe. But you can't park right at the trailhead. So you got to tack on like another half a mile uh, to get to the trailhead from the parking area. <laughs> so let's uh, go see what this hike has in store for us. This is one of those trails where if you have a full pack, <laughs> you do not want to, you want to maybe drop your pack off down there and park and come. Because like this extra half mile at the end of your hike is going to kill you. But uh, we're gonna be parking, we're gonna be hiking out of the trailhead for Lamarck Lakes out of North Lake above Bishop. And North Lake is just a small lake, it's more like a really big pond. So there's the, the Pipe Pass Trail and the Lamarck Lakes Trail. And that's what we want, the Lamarck's Lake Trail. And we have to go into the North Lake campground because the trails start in the campground. So if you stay in the campground <laughs> and you just day hike these, you could just shoot right up there from your campsite, which is probably nice. I ate so many quesadillas before I went to bed last night. I didn't even need to eat breakfast. I feel great. <laughs> I'm still full. I'm one of those dudes that keeps a pretty tight diet at home so when I'm camping or I'm I'm out in the mountains and I open that bag of cheese it's on <laughs> so just a heads up if you don't stay in the campground you're walking pretty far <laughs> I've been walking for a while so if you're looking to uh, save yourself a lot of hiking it's 27 bucks per night, eight bucks for an extra vehicle. So if you have a big backpacking party, it'd be worth it just to pitch in, park in here, and save yourself a lot of walking. I've been walking for a while. Instead of half a mile, it felt like more than that. But I'm coming up on the trailhead. We are at the Paiute Lamarck trailhead. And it's in the John Muir Wilderness. And we are in the back of the North Lake campground above Bishop. So, let's get to hiking. So right off the bat, you got some really nice shade with some uh, aspens. Man, this campground's empty. It's a Tuesday. But it's a Tuesday in July and this campground's empty, man. There's nobody staying up here. So right off the bat, you're faced with Pipe Pass, Lamarck Lakes. I don't want to cross any passes, so we're going to Lamarck Lakes. I just read about this place two nights ago. <laughs> and I was just, I wasn't even, I was, gonna, I was looking at Ruby Lake, and then this popped up, so I just decided to come here. But what I understand, this is a strenuous short hike. So we'll see how bad it is. cool trail so far. It's got running water, it's nice and green. I'm sure once we get up out of, into the mountains though, it's gonna get pretty rough. Here we go. Nice little stream. And once again, we are entering the John Muir Wilderness. And we are going up. <laughs> I want some switchbacks. You have all of these aspens as you're going up. And that tells me if you do this hike in the fall, if you come up to the Bishop area in the fall in general, there, the aspens are usually just fiery orange and yellow. And you can see it when you're just driving up to Sabrina and South Lake. And 
It's a really spectacular thing to see. So I'd recommend it. It's, I think it's like like mid September. That's when uh, all that starts happening. But I could be a little foggy on that <laughs> that time frame. <laughs> I come up here so many times. I just mix up. You know, is it October? Whatever. I'll tell you one thing. If you have uh, no choice but to get a later start, there's some pretty good tree cover, at least for this first section. I'm sure it's going to open up. But this hike's only this hike's only a couple of miles. Then you're going to have cover for a good portion of the hike starting out. So, you know, you can't always start before the sun comes up. No matter how many times I do this, no matter how many how much I work out to stay in shape, but it doesn't matter if I stayed the night to get acclimated. This altitude kicks my butt every time. I'm gasping for air. <laughs> but, I mean, this hike is primarily uphill from, from, uh, from the word go. Once you, once you leave the campground, this first mile has just been straight up. These two mile hikes are great though. You know, these lakes that I do that are one, two, three miles in, if you don't got a lot of time, you don't want to hike 10 miles each way. You know, you just want to get up there, get your tent out, sit under the stars, and then get back to the hustle and bustle of life, you know? So, for me, these short hike lakes are great because you get to see a good taste of the wilderness area and you get a little bit of solitude and you're in and out without killing yourself. <laughs> and the update is more uphill, but you still got some decent tree cover if you don't start too late with the high too with the sun too high in the sky. I'm still in the trees, but it looks like I'm coming out into the sun pretty quick. Wow. There's a big groove through that fine talus right there. And it looks like a giant rock may have rolled down and made that big old channel through that talus. Wow. I wish you could have seen that. Maybe that happened when that earthquake hit a few weeks back. I will give it this. This is a really pretty trail, man. I mean, it's scenic. Like, it hasn't had too many spectacular views, except for something like that <laughs> giant mountain right there. But, you know, it just has that perfect combination of granite boulders and enough dirt to put a little brown in there, the trees, digging it, man. So there's another lake, Grass Lake, that's right over there. But we're going to Lamarck Lakes. While I'm walking, I figured I'd share a camping horror story for you, with you. And it dates back to that same trip where I talked about all the bears above Hetch Hetchy when I was on the uh, hike up to Hilton Lakes. And it was the trip we are like 17 or 18, we'd driven, I was with my buddy Eric that's in my, a couple of my clips, and we drove up in his VW bus to go backpacking. And by that point in my life, I was a really good trout fisherman. I could already, you know, I could walk up to an Alpine Lake and just knock them dead. But I didn't have that much experience in the backcountry. And in the late 80s, there wasn't a lot of information. There wasn't like you could just go online and read about all this stuff. So we figured, water filter? You don't need a water filter. 
we're in the Sierras, crystal, crystal clean water. So we just rolled up, hiked in, and we were just filling our canteens right out of the lake, right out of the water, right out of the river. And a couple people got sick in our party. There was like uh, five of us. Some point during the trip, I decided I was grossed out by the bugs that were swimming around close to shore and we're camping at Laurel Lake above Hetch Hetchy. And so I would swim out into the middle of the lake and just sip water like a carp. I was just like And I never got sick, amazingly. But after that, we figured out the whole water filter, water purification tablet thing. And from that point forward, I was okay. But that first maiden voyage, when we dealt with all the bears, we had no water filter too. We had no wilderness permit. This ranger came up and he's just like, where's your wilderness permit? We're like, wilderness permit? What are you talking about? You know, we had no idea. We're 17 year old, 18 year old kids. So without access to any kind of information super highway, there was no highway. You had to pick up a book and read. That wasn't happening. Anyway, it was fun stuff. But does it kill us makes us stronger. It's cool how the early morning light just kind of hits that. In that uh, striking dead tree. It's really cool looking man. But we're getting up there. And it's been up. But the lake ain't coming to me. If those are clouds, I'm above clouds, so that's got to count for something. <laughs> or count for nothing, maybe it's fog, I don't know. But, definitely getting up here. You know, these aren't low elevation lakes. We're going to be getting upwards of 11,000 feet. I think it's like 10, 9 or something. But, I couldn't tell you for sure. <laughs> <laughs> if I could, it wouldn't be me. <laughs> cool meadow down there. Maybe that needs to be investigated later for fishing. And it's just cool, striking landscape out here, boy. Those big peaks in the back. That's really nice, man. This is great. This feels great. I was just talking about how this feels great. These steps, not so great. <laughs> now that I've gotten higher, that killer stream that I said I saw, it looks more like ponds. So, that just dropped in the interesting scale by quite a bit. And I'm glad I saw this because it lets me off the hook and now I don't feel like I gotta go out there <laughs> because that looks far wherever it is. <laughs> so I can see the parking lot in North Lake way off in the distance. So I'm definitely making some mileage. It's a cool shot of the moon right there, right in between those trees. And as usual in these wilderness areas about 10,000 feet, no fires. It's always fun to, as you go up a mountain on a steep grade like this, and you can kind of watch the landscape change as you go from one biozone to the next on what can survive. Because those thick forests of aspens that were down there aren't really a... Uh, prevalent up at this level and now we're just getting into these old guy trees that have just fought it out over the centuries or whatever however long it takes to grow this big at 10,500 feet or whatever it is I mean the growth rate up here has got to be slow 
but it's cool. I love the just the stark contrast of the shades of the trunks and the the green needles. Here's another cool perspective shot. That's the green area that's just below that stark red mountain I showed. North Lake is way down there. There's that fog, clouds, whatever the heck it is. <laughs> and I'm getting way up here. I mean, the only way that I could go more up is if I just started climbing up a ladder. <laughs> just straight up. So now that I get a better view of that meadow, it looks more interesting. There's like a little lake in there. I could see dozens of rings from fish rising. And there is some nice stretches of little stream to fish. But the parking lot is way over there. So that's got to be at least two miles. So I don't even know how you'd get there. There's probably a trail. I'm going to look around the campground maybe. But that is, I mean, that's, that's like half the size of North Lake. <laughs> that lake right there. <laughs> you know, North Lake is right there. That's like this big pond and it's got streams in a wide open front. I just don't know how marshy that is. But that's definitely an interesting sight to see. That might be on the, that might, getting out to that thing, cross country if I have to, might be on the menu at some point. That's not something you want to fall down. <laughs> we are getting up here, boy. Another cool shot of the moon. There's the stark landscape up here. I mean, if you say rugged mountaintop, that ridge right there is pretty rugged. I mean, unless you're a mountain goat, you're not jumping around on that. This looks like a spot people camp at, so it must be getting close. So I guess this is Lower Lamarck Lake. And it looks awesome. It looks like it's a little hard to get around the shore. But I figure if I'm going to come all the way up here, I might as well go see what the upper lake looks like. Because it's, um, it's uh, only about a half mile farther. So I'm going to go look at the upper lake and then I'll decide where I'm going to go. So this is Lower Lamarck Lake, and this is all you're going to see today. I believe the upper lake's right up there, but this lake has everything I need, and I can go check that out another time. It's just, I started hiking on these trails, and I wasn't seeing a definitive, like, I kind of lost it. If I searched around, I could probably find it. I figure I'm going to get in some fishing right now before the sun's hard on this lake and see if I can't pick something up. I mean, there's plenty for me to fish here all day and then some. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fish here all day <laughs> and I'm gonna set up right now. So I hope you enjoyed the hike to Lower Lamarck Lake Thank you for joining me on Wilderness with Imani. Until next time.